Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got part two of Carl vs. Steve, All the Insults. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Part two. Part two. Yeah, man. First part was too funny, man. Yeah, they went back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> man. Carl, <laughs> Carl went at Steve a little bit. Yeah, man. Because, I mean, you, you normally always hear Ricky and Steve going at Carl, but it's nice to hear yeah. Carl, you know, defend himself a little bit, I yeah. guess you could say. Yeah. But all right, man, let's go. Number two. Yes, I, I, I don't want to... St- I'm not stirring it, right? You, you started a little bit of a war with Steve. We always have. stirring it. Well, no, 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 well, this no. Is what it, this is stirring right now. This is this is the terminology. But do you know that the fellas in your school, uh-huh. the big heads and webbed feet and webbed hands... Webbed hands. <laughs> but, but they hung around together, did they? Uh, I don't think they did. And they were nothing to do with each other? No, I think people expected them to sort of knock about together, but they they must have thought, oh, that's, that'd be too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but where did you live? Near a power plant? Well, I mean, why why did you have? I don't think it had anything to do with that though. Just sometimes you get a little. Look at Steve; he didn't live near a power plant. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Listen, yeah, can yeah, I just yeah. stop you there? Right? No, let me just stop you there because I, I it always happens as soon as we we you know it's, it's supposed to be a nice day and suddenly you're having yeah, a go, yeah, right? I, I now this know. is what this got sent on the email. Okay, <laughs> now this is not me saying this. This is someone who's forwarded a review that was put put on the web. It was a review of your appearance on one of Ricky's stand up comedy. DVDs, okay? I'm reading, I'm quoting this, this is not me saying it. It says that uh, Carl, through a combination of his intriguing way of thinking and slightly less than human appearance, right, (laughs) Carl may just be the proof needed to muffle the cries of creationists the world over, as this missing link demonstrates that not only did man evolve from apes, but the process isn't quite finished yet. (laughs) Okay, now that's someone else, an external person's opinion of you. But the the, the terrible thing about that is, Carl's feelings aren't hurt because he didn't understand a word of that. I said the word creationist, (laughs) that lost it. it. You've got to remember that Carl, you know when um, people say they're talking to their cat and they go, oh look look at him, look at this, it's like he can understand what we're saying. Well, Carl's got that look, but you know he can't understand yeah. what <laughs> what you're saying. All right, Carl. Mm-hmm. No, but all I mean now we're now we're talking about your head and that, right? When you go back to say your mum and dad, it's Christmas time, right? There's a lot of people <laughs> travelling up and down the country, going back to the mum and dad. They probably haven't seen them all year, right? <laughs> when you go back, <laughs> is it a shock to them again? <laughs> No, do you know like how you get used to how someone, like I say, I'm used to you, I see you a few times a week, I don't do the double take. But what I mean is when you go back, they sort of go, oh, there he is. (laughs) Play a record, this is, it's like- Let's leave it then. Let's move on then, because I'm I'm gonna get angry and we haven't even got, it's it's taking 25 pounds for Christmas. A little bit of Salmon and Garfunkel. Yeah, Yeah. oh, this is beautiful. Started it though. <laughs> so, what have you been doing this week, Steve? Well, um, I'll tell you what, at the beginning of the week I was, um, incredibly annoyed uh, by Carl. Why? Um, no, uh, well, no, because you, I remember you had a little discussion with Carl a while back saying that, um, you thought he was lazy at times. Yeah. And, you know, you had various criticisms of <laughs> yeah, his, his, yeah, his work. Yeah, yeah. And I got a call from him, he said, uh, oh yeah, I should have told you, um, I had a phone call, someone said that they were trying to get hold of Steve Merchant to offer him some lucrative voiceover work. Now you know- That, that is money like, for old rope. It's money rope. for rope. That's it's about, the, you're in there for about twenty minutes and it's thousands of pounds. If there are children listening who are still at yeah. school, they should definitely, when the careers guy says, what do you want to do? Try and get voiceover, voiceover work. work. Just become a voiceover artist. It's money for old rope. Yeah. So I can't believe my luck because yeah. you know I love money for old rope. Yeah. And um, I said, well, what was the information? He said, oh, oh, I don't know. I deleted the message. It was on his answer when he deleted the message. I said, right, when did the message come? He said, last week. <laughs> so he took a week to tell me Why? that he had deleted the message. Why? Just because it wasn't for you? I mean, I don't know how selfish that is, Carl. Is that, no, what happened is, right? I got back a holiday. Mm. I was at home. Yeah. So I called up my voicemail. Yeah. Because right, I can do that. Yeah. Remote access, right? Because I've got to know what's going on at work. Of course. Called in. It was still my day off. I was going through the messages. Yes. Heard one from some company saying we're after Steve Merchant. Yeah. We want him to do some voiceover work. Yeah. Right. Mm. I can't remember the name of it, but Thanks. I thought right. I'll, I'll remember to tell <laughs> Steve a week later. It doesn't matter, does it? You still got the message, and they. they what, what, what message? Yeah, but voiceovers have to be done uh, in the next. Couple I didn't of days. get the message. Yeah, I got all I got was there was a company. I don't remember the name, and they phoned you. They wanted voiceover. Uh, well, how does that help me? There are hundreds of thousands of media companies. I, I you didn't take more... down a number. You didn't take down a name. Nothing. I, I was more puzzled why they'd want you to voice anything. <laughs> What? I don't listen to that. Oh, voice. You must be annoyed. You must be annoyed. I mean, talk about rubbing salt into the wound. No, but listen to you. 
I don't know what you- I don't know how you think. I don't know what- how your mind works. Well, I was thinking there must be a tractor sale on somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> what do I care? What's going on? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The I world don't care. Turned. I don't care uh, if damn. they want me to advertise, you know, <laughs> the latest designs in pirate fashion wear. I will do a voiceover because it's money for a rope. I don't care what you think of my voice. Someone was interested. They were offering me money. <laughs> And you decided arbitrarily, oh, they probably wouldn't want it, they probably made a mistake, uh, they wouldn't like the way he talks anyway, I'll delete the message. No, the thing is, right, I what get if paid- What that been a girl? I get paid to sit here on a Saturday, yeah. right, <laughs> play CDs and that, help out with the show, get you decent prizes, I think I, I, I do me bit. Sure. Right? <laughs> It isn't about running your voiceover work. So hang on, so Carl, <laughs> let me just get this right. If someone was ever to phone me, right, trying to get in touch with you, to offer you work, you'd want me to just ignore the message. That is what you're saying to me. You'd prefer that I deleted the message, I ignored it altogether. That's what you'd want for me to do. That's what you want me to do. What, someone's calling you for some Someone's phoned me. They say, oh, oh, I can't, I don't know, I, I, I'm a friend of a friend, I've got your number, Steve. Uh, I'd love to use Carl Pilkington for a, 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 an well, exciting sex scene. Well, you've had a so has it happened? Well, it but happened? I'm saying in the future, if it was to occur, <laughs> If it was to occur, do you want me to just ignore it? Is that what you prefer me to do? Uh, well, it's not like that though. I, I did tell you. I told you the message. You didn't tell what? You told me a week later with none of oh. the information I needed. Carl, um, that doctor called last week. That kid is ready for that um little girl that you were doing that sponsored walk for. I forgot to tell you. Oh, I have still all right. They keep it on ice, don't they? I think they do. Uh, oh, selfish, oh. Carl. So selfish. And you've lost the same. That was a real fight. <laughs> that was Beautiful. a really fight. Bit of, uh, Snoop on XFM. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kicking it with, uh, yeah, Ricky Gervais. Yeah, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. 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 <laughs> uh, Steve Merchant <laughs> and, uh, Carl Pilkington. I, what has happened to Carl? Cause Carl, I thought, is, you know, is this sort of sweet little buffoon, almost childlike mm. in his, his ways. You know what I mean? Like Charlie Brown after <laughs> some sort of, Head injury, and yeah, and now he's and now he's coming back like that. I've been go not not caring about voiceover work. It's like because yeah, he have written about him a couple of weeks. It's like he thinks he's better than you in no, some way. I do care though. You're out of order saying that, right? Because I've sorted you out with tickets for stuff. He Carl, doesn't turn up to Carl. I received a phone call. You deleted the message offering me voiceover work. You're as bad as my agent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm appalled by it. <laughs> and I thought we were friends. <laughs> ah, at least yeah. his agent when he does it is losing himself money as well. Yeah, he, you, he, he, you, exactly. You, you've got no comeback. You're still sweet. And to have a go is you. You've got a mank wine, right? Her voice like a cartoon <laughs> Gallagher brother on Coronation Street. I mean, and Steve's. I mean, yes, Steve does sound like a, a wurzel. But that <laughs> do you know what I mean? No. A, what about Jethro? Jethro does well. Jethro gets on Des O'Connor any time he wants. Just off the phone, Des up, and he's on there. Straight on. And there. he's whining like a wurzel as well. So. <laughs> You know, to say that that right, is what, a rubbish. What, I've, all right. Apart from that, then what else have I done? That's wound you up. Well, that's 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 a that's a good starting point because you haven't even apologised. No, it's a shock because that's the first time I've let you down, and I didn't really <laughs> let you down because I passed on the message. You didn't. Well, we've been through it. You didn't okay. pass on the message. Saying I deleted a message for you is not passing on the message. Well, I mean, I just think what's happened is that you've got a little bit of celebrity now from the show. I, I mean, I've seen you being recognised in pubs and stuff, where people have come up and they said, are you Carl? I don't know, because they've seen Ricky. Now, it just seems to me that you are not keeping yourself grounded. You are just, you no. cannot deal with fame, you've not got the intelligence to cope with the celebrity, oh, 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 oh. and you're just becoming no, this kind getting. of ego-driven no, monster. Getting. No, it's getting, no, it's getting. <laughs> excuse me, Carl. Getting you're not the man I remember. Look, I, I put a lot of work into this yeah. on Saturday. This isn't even my proper job, right? Mm. Where were you in the week? Oh, we've got you there. What? Where were you in the week? I said, I said, let's meet up, let's, you know, come up with some new features and that. Where were you? Carl, you phoned me yeah. about an hour before you wanted to meet. That is not what I would call. I mean, that, that, that is arrogance right there. That's, That's arrogance right there. That's ego right there. He couldn't, he couldn't go, uh, it, I, uh, when I came in, he said, where's Steve? I said, Steve can't make it. I had to tell him why. Steve was staying in to tidy up because his landlady was coming. This, this he couldn't get over. He could not get over that you couldn't make it because you had to stay with your own lady. Is is <laughs> he talked about it for about the hour when we were working? What are you talking? I, I last week I had a bad throat. You yeah, wouldn't tolerate that. You last week when you, had a bad, when you had a bad throat, where, where were you? <laughs> Why couldn't we do any work then? Because you're at home with your mum and your dad. <laughs> you, you were on holiday, <laughs> weren't you? <laughs> Why didn't you get your mum and your dad to clean the flat? Oh, he's done it again. He's done hey. you again, mate. Play a record. How has he done me? What? <laughs> they live in Bristol. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, the joke's on you. He couldn't get him to clean the flat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's laughing at who now. <laughs>
All right, listen. Uh, Can right. we just go back to laughing at Carl? Okay. Because I know where we stand there. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. Do you want to, uh, That's the natural order of things. <laughs> I know, yeah. Carl's got topsy-turvy. <laughs> he's, he's stepped out of the pegging uh, yeah. order. Right. Well, someone who I don't let down, right, for the listeners of this show. <laughs> Do you want to, uh, read out the prices for Rockbusters? Uh, we'll, get, okay. we'll get that one. Oh, we're oh, we not, not doing Rockbusters again, are we? Yeah. Well, it was a shambles last week. We we cancelled it two weeks ago. What? Uh, <sighs> it just, I mean, there, there you are right there, Rick. I mean, both you and I, and let's be honest, we're the guys with, the, with our names on the poster. I know, it's yeah. It's supposed to be your show. And, and yet, our faces. Exactly, and yet. <laughs> we have to have, we have to be on tube stations with people laughing at yeah. us. Yeah, well, they're not laughing at me, really. They're, they're well, I don't know. Just... What do you think people think of the poster, Carl? Seriously. Uh. No, I don't want to know his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> My point Just is this, Rick. Just because he was Rick. looking at you. My point is this, Rick. We used to be able to decide what the content of this show was. I know. Now, it's him. It's just him. He wants to do Rockbusters, he gets to do it. I know. <laughs> and it's it's awful, Robert. That, that, uh, Tourette's Trent Derby. Not only is that offensive, it doesn't work as a clue. Saying that, have you come up with anything for this week? What's the prices? I'll read out the prices. We've got... Well, we went, really went out with <laughs> Drink with Carl in the week, and, uh... We went to uh, a restaurant, didn't we, Carl? Good night. And we sat there, and next to me, when Carl came, next to me was, uh, um, what's his name? Ross Kemp. And uh, he was sitting there, and I saw Carl, and I, I tapped him on the shoulder, Ross Kemp, and I pointed to Carl and him, and I said, it's nice to see you two back together again. Nice. And Carl was horrified. But Carl didn't know that I'd already spoken to him before Carl arrived. Yeah, so yeah, was, yeah, I thought yeah. it was okay. I thought I could break the ice because I'd met him before. Sure. So he just thought I was insulting him. And in the week we were talking about his head, his little head, weren't we, Carl? And Carl suddenly stopped the conversation and said, "If I had hair, what would we be talking about now?" <laughs> I think he had enough of everyone talking about it. And he looked good though. He had it's, it's a special little do. He had it sort of, you know, cropped a little bit more. Uh, I like it when he's just freshly had it done. Mm. Do you like, yeah. has, has that ever happened to you, Steve? When you, if you're somewhere, say if you sat somewhere, does someone sort of, you know, is he anyone else who you look like, or did <laughs> you say you're a bit of a one-off? I love these two. But, I, I, but to be <laughs> fair, <laughs> but to, be, well, to be fair, I, he seems to be having a go at me an awful lot more than I do at him. No, I mean he just starts it. You know, he I just think, starts it out of nowhere. I th yeah, I think I think his is sort of a get back for the way you treat him as a producer, not you know. But he's not a producer. <laughs> If he produced the show, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a reason to criticise. Uh, I think this is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I, seriously, I mean, it really winds me though because you know it started as a joke, but now it's just it's abuse. Yeah, he uh, got annoyed at heat because it said Carl producer. Well, not so much a producer as just a bald mank. And he yeah. went, "Can they say that? Yeah, can they say that?" See, that's a magazine, an independent publication. It's identified what exactly it is you do. Yeah. Oh, here we go then, come on, bring it on, because here we go, he's looking at me, I know he's thinking, he's, no, I can hear the no, I'm not, I'm not thinking anything. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> no, that, that is true, never <laughs> true <a> word, play <laughs> record. <laughs> this is what, the phone message he left me Wednesday, on my mobile, but I just, uh, he's chatting about certain things that are going on at the moment, uh, what he does need to know. Um, oh, Duncan, who he mentions, is my agent. And, you know, you'll, you understand a few other things. But this is the sort of message I get from Carl, right? Windsor. Old messages. Alright. Ten past twelve. Hello? 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 Yeah, Carl. Yeah, it's me. Um, just getting loads of people calling me all the time about shit. Yesterday, DVDs signing for BBC London. I don't work there, but I've been dragged into that. I've got a woman on, uh, leaving a message from Talk TR going on about do you, do you want to go and see Pop Idol again? <laughs> All right? They're just saying, uh, you and some listeners can go. So I'm sure you'll love that. I've got Jim Benner wanting you to introduce the tin buckets at the Astoria. So can, can you just like let Duncan know that I'm, I'm doing his job whilst he's sat on his arse with his thumb firmly up his arse? <laughs> can you let him know that I'm running around like a c***er <laughs> sorting s*** out for you? All right, see you later. <laughs> so, uh, do you know what I mean? I know, but that's the kind of phone message he's leaving. But that, but, do you remember but, who he was but, before you? But he's right, even you? annoyed that he gets a phone call. I remember he got a phone call for you to do a voiceover. Didn't yeah. pass it on. You missed a voiceover. That yeah, was thousands yeah. of pounds. No, I did, I did it, pass it on though. I told you. You I did. Said you I said someone had phoned. Yeah. That's not good enough. But who's that? Well, she she didn't say, and I didn't ask. But of course she said. She didn't say. <laughs> Rubbish. So you didn't take the number down. Just when she went, oh, could you tell Steve to call me? And you went, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I just thought you'd know her already. I should have oh. known. It was a woman, so yeah. I should have known. <laughs> He's having a go, you see. Unbelievable. I don't know how it's gone back on me. You're Look, the one who was picking on it. Yeah, exactly. I'm saying. I'm defending. Why is he having a go but at you? He because... never picks on Ricky because he knows you are his bread and butter. <laughs> Seriously, do you know what I mean? The only reason he's got Mondays off is because you're still doing this show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why he's scared of you. That's why he's like, he has a go at you on the phone, but he always picks on me because he knows, you know, I'm a pushover. I'm a nice guy. He's scared of you. I can't believe it. I don't know how it works. Is that true? If I'm always sorting you out, I look after you. Yeah. Sort you out with tickets, I sort of get lager out. What do you mean you're sorting out tickets and lager? What's this? Right, whenever you want tickets. Yeah, yeah sorry, like I don't want to use this as like moaning time and that because yeah. I don't like to moan. I'm busy and that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've, sorted, I've sorted you out tickets for gigs. Yeah. Right? What well, somebody doesn't even turn up to. Yeah. yeah we won't even go on about that. Yeah. Right? Lager. He was talking about the cure, he complained it was boring. Yeah. yeah. There was that big drum of lager that yeah. you had and you said, oh, put that in your room for me. Yeah. Because I don't want to carry it home. Right? I'm lazy. So I said, all right, then I'll put it in my room. It goes missing, it gets nicked. <laughs> then you have a go at me because it got nicked. Yeah. I get you another one. You make me carry it around town for you for half an hour, then you say, oh, I can't be bothered taking it home. Can you take it back to work for me? Yeah. Yeah. But interestingly, this is like a year ago, so it's, it's, on, it's still still pressing on you. Oh, hang it? on, and I forgot the one when we had an argument over fifty p. When went out for a coffee. Fifty p, man, that you owed me. Uh, that was the da same day you'd given him about forty quid worth of lager. <laughs> but see, this is my problem. This was my point at the time. It's not the fifty fifty p in terms of money is not what's important. The fact that you think you don't have to give me money back because it's only fifty p. That was the point at stake. Mm. I, it's me who makes a decision. I oh, don't worry about the fifty p. Not you. It's only fifty p. I'm not going to give it to you. Do you know what I mean? There's got to be rules, otherwise it's chaos, Carl. Come on, mate. You all right? I don't want to fall out about no, it. No, it's not fair. <laughs> should we kiss and make up? Do you want that? Do you want oh, it's all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, should we yeah. play a little record and come back to this, because... Uh, I can't believe it started with you slacking him off, Rick, and I've ended up... I know. ...as the monster. I know. Bit of R.E.M. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you know what Steve said when he saw that, Carl? Uh, go on. He said, it has captured Carl. Hmm. What do you mean? Well, you just look utterly gormless. <laughs> <laughs> In the pictures. It's captured brilliant. You know how, like, a good photographer can do that? You can capture the essence of someone. <laughs> That's good stuff. <laughs> it's best if, if you leave it. Well, we're not gonna leave it. We're gonna get you on the poster. Yeah. I mainly have to see myself on videotape this morning. That's oh, I, I showed him, um, um, I, you know, uh, the animal show I did, the show, yes. I'm doing a video and I did behind the scenes footage and I've got a, uh, you've seen it, haven't you? I feel a little bit of Carl on there, isn't there? Yeah, it's yeah, great. Yeah. It's lovely. He can't believe it. He said, is it playing slow? <laughs> He's so slow when I come into the office going, all right. It, that's how you I'm talk. I'm head as well. I look like I'm looking into a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not happy with it. I just think that if we're willing to, 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 uh, if Ricky's willing to use his celebrity profile for the sake of the show, yeah. I'm willing to look like a, you know, let's say a fairly handsome kind of cool customer, I think at least, the very least, Carl, is that you appear on there as well. Yeah. You could dress are up you smart. Are you worried that you'll look the worst out of all three of us? Uh, who am I standing next to? I'm next to Steve. <laughs> I'm, pr I'm fairly confident. <laughs> yeah. It's so predictable. You pull the string because you know what it is. It's not you pull the string. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ricky Gervais. With me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkerton. Still arguing, this time about having help from me and my dad. What do you think, Carl? No, I'm not. We're, I don't want this to turn into some sort of wacky type thing where we're pretending we're arguing. Yeah. Well, we're not pretending. We're not we pretending. Are you are yeah, arguing. I know. I know what people think we're messing about. Oh, right. we don't, wouldn't have thought so. We just need to, we can talk about it later, sort it out. Hmm. Yeah. It's just that Carl's a little bit stressed. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not stressed, but... And he doesn't really understand that, you know, you know, me and Steve have got lots of different jobs in the week, he's just got one job. Yeah. But and we sort of rely on people getting messages to us, you know, as soon as they get them, you know, and not sort of deleting them from their phone selfishly. Yeah. Things like that, you know, people being on the ball. Not just thinking about themselves all the time, not just thinking about number one. What do you think, Carl? Whatever. Do you know what I mean? Whatever. <laughs> Don't get all <laughs> maudlin in the game. Just have a little discussion. Yeah, this will annoy you. Guess what? Think of this, you little slaphead twat. Um, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> that's so in his arse, that's so in his arse. Right, apparently, women can get bald treatment on the National Health Service, but men can't. What do you think of that? Do you think that's fair? 
Is that a fact? That is a fact. We what? should point out that Carl is, uh, would you say balding? Yeah. Would that be fair? Well, either that or a wide parting. <laughs> 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 each other for real. Yeah. But I think uh Steve was getting a little bit upset. <laughs> he said, now he's just having to go every time. Right? He said, he's, <laughs> I think the picking order is it the picking order changed. Uh, oh man. Ah uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah man. What's good man? Them all having a good uh jab at each other man. Ricky is the instigator. Oh yeah, yeah. Ricky, Ricky instigates, he's, he's instigates he's almost a hundred percent of the fights. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. it wasn't for Ricky, they'd probably just be Steve as well. Steve as well, a little bit, but not as much as Ricky. Steve, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Steve, not as much as yeah, not as much. But yeah, yeah Steve <laughs> takes sophisticated jabs at Carl, <laughs> and Carl just, just, <laughs> just is mean. Is mean. <laughs> Uh, Carl hit you with your hurts. It can hit, Carl will hit you where it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Especially and when Steve. talking shit and joking, you gotta be prepared for it, man. You can't have you know what I'm saying? You can't have thin skin. Yeah, you know what I'm I think Steve, uh, he's he's very sensitive about his looks, or he was very sensitive about his looks. I think man. somebody said in the comments he's married now. No, nah, okay, he's, okay, you know, okay. He's good now. Yeah, I me mean, yeah. But back then, I could, it was a little hard for him. <laughs> man, man, better, better, better watch. Better not be joking on people, then, man. Having them insecurities. 